people call every day and say just such wonderful things to me about the bait boat. This is the bait boat. We're closed. We sank on August the 30th, and we are busy rebuilding the boat. Nobody likes rebuilding. Eight to ten hours a day. So. But Bonnie Van Allen has to. Everybody loves Bonnie. If you don't know Bonnie, you're not from here. Does everybody know her? Pretty much. <laughs> How does it look now? Well, it looks naked. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly everyone in Old Homosassa knows Bonnie as the bait lady, a woman who's delivered bait to fishermen for over two decades. She's an icon. The local treasure they almost lost on August 30th. Called Ted called me and said, there's a storm coming, when will you be home? And I said, I'll probably be home in about an hour. And as I was talking to him, I looked up and the left side of the boat was going under. So I yelled at him, call the Coast Guard, here's where I am, I'm sinking. Her husband did call, but help didn't come for two and a half hours. Bonnie had to tread water to survive. Really, when I was watching it sink, I was thinking this might be the end. It was terrible. It's, it's gut-wrenching. Where is it? Is she okay? For the news spread quickly. You know? Bonnie was saved. Her boat was not. It looked like a mess. We dropped everything we were doing. Right Joe now, Finn and his son Patrick are working overtime. There's nobody else like her. Liz Gardner went diving and found Bonnie's wallet. Oh, I jumped right out of the water. <laughs> I got it. 316 donors. And Wayne Merrill went online. Everybody just jumps in and and helps one another. It doesn't surprise me a bit, and it's one of the main reasons why I live here. If you ask Old Homosassa, the bait lady should be on the water. She is just what the world misses in people. And it's because of them. She will be soon. It's going to take us some time, but we will be back out there. So, hope to see you soon. Thanks for calling. Bye. What a great community. <laughs> Aren't they nice? That's awesome. It's good to see that they'll have that boat back up and running. She's really loved. So get this, Bonnie's going to turn 80. She looks amazing on October 21st. And Joe says he will have Bonnie's boat back out on the water by then. She tread water for two hours. Amazing. Survivor. So far, $25,000 has been raised through GoFundMe for Bonnie and her boat. That's pretty cool, isn't it, Ryan? And they found the wallet? <laughs> and they found right? the wallet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They went diving for it. That was, that's incredible. <laughs> Bobby Lewis gets me every single time. Love on